Hey, what's up, y'all? Knowledge coming at you again. Um, this is a crazy story right here. Um, this chick named Cicely Bolden, crazy ass, stupid, retarded ass, not thinking about the consequence type of chick. She has sex with her boyfriend. Don't tell him that, hey, you know, I have HIV, you know, I'm, I'm deadly. Goes and has sex with the cat and then tells him after the fact, yo, I got AIDS. So what this dude does, uh, I believe his name is uh, Larry Dunn. He went dun 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 on that ass. He went in the kitchen, grabbed a knife, and started stabbing the shit out of her. Now, <laughs> you know, when, when I put myself in that situation, I don't know how I would have react. You know, I don't know if I would have killed the chick. I might have put them paws on her, like, you know, uh, Scrabby say, because <laughs> that's some serious shit. And she really had no concern or, you know, really didn't even care about her boyfriend to lay down and have sex with this man. And you're going to tell him after the fact that you have AIDS? I mean, what, what did you think? You thought because he was your boyfriend, he was going to say, oh, it's okay. We'll get through this together after you didn't slept with the man. That, that, that's, that's pretty low. That's fucked up. But, you know, he went in there, you know, and he went buck on that ass, stabbed her, uh, you know, left the body to be found by the children. I thought that was a little cold, and he took the murder weapon and threw it at, I guess, a Waffle House or something like that. If y'all want to check out all the details and everything, y'all can click the link in the description box. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't condone what dude did because at the end of the day, he did murder this chick. Although, you know, her lifespan was, was was ticking anyway, you know, and he just shortened that motherfucker up real quick. But, you know, I don't condone what he did, but, hey, I, I don't feel sorry for this Cicely chick because she was in the wrong, you know, and, and when you do something like that and you put a, a deadly disease with somebody, and obviously, you know, I guess the way he reacted and everything, they had unprotected sex, you know, just by the way this cat reacted, but... When you put yourself in that situation, you don't let your mate know that, hey, I have this disease, or I have herpes, or I have this, this, and this, and, you know, you just go ahead and act all willy-nilly about it, like it's not a big deal, and you want to come back later on and say, yeah, I have this and I have that. How do you think somebody's going to expect, you know, react to that? They're going to beat the shit out of you. So, you know what I mean? I'm not going to condone it, but I somewhat understand it, because you just basically you know, killed this man, you gave him a, a disease that is very deadly, and, you, you know, I mean, hey, I don't know what to say, you know, you, you fucked up, you know, you made a bad decision, uh, Larry Dundu, he messed up, he shouldn't have killed you, but, I mean, hey, it is what it is, um, <laughs> y'all give me y'all feedback, you know, how would you feel if you lay down with a man, or lay down with a woman that was, you know, your so-called boyfriend or girlfriend, and you think they care about you the way you care about them or whatever, and then, you know, you come to find out they have AIDS, you know, a daily disease that, you know, can kill you, and they tell you after the fact that you, after you guys get intimate that, hey, I have this disease. How would you react to that? How would you feel? Because me, you know, I would have slapped this bitch, you know, in point blank period. But that's all I got to say, man. Shit getting wild out here. And if you got a disease or you got a nasty ass herpes on your lip or something, don't kiss nobody. Don't have sex with nobody. Let people know up front. Just stay away from people. You know, do society a favor. But I'm out, man. Peace. <laughs>